Elena Wood here from the Silver Screen Show at LB24 TV. I've just seen the UK premiere of Eat Local at the beautiful Prince Charles Cinema. And uh, take a quick look at the trailer and then we'll have some reviews for you in a second. Come in, 18. You have a visual on our target. We have a positive sighting. Hi, everyone. This is Sebastian. Second squad, hold your position. Sebastian, close your eyes. Go, take him down. Do it now. Colonel, you have a problem. You have no idea. Fire! These things are an abomination. They need to be wiped from the face of this earth. Vampires with machine guns. It's not a love. The night is ours. That was it when we moved in. If for God's sake, do something! Well, that's not going to help, is it? Okay, it was pretty helpful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Who chose every last single one of them? Get back! Get back, everyone! In the name of God, the Son and the Holy Smoke, I command you. <laughs> you get back! Does he just say they? That's disgusting. Everyone's a food critic these days. Right, so I'm going to give you a quick overview now you've seen the trailer. We've got eight British vampire overlords. They've been having a bit of a rough time. They've lost one of their guys, so they want a new recruit. So we've got sexy cougar Vanessa, played by Eve Miles. She's brought in a little, little bit of an unwitting, unwilling guy, uh, Sebastian, uh, played by uh, Billy Cook. And he's come in, he doesn't know what's happening, but they want to turn into a vampire. And things go a little bit pear-shaped when the special forces sent by the Vatican turn up. And we've got a nice action, horror, comedy ensemble. And we've got some great, great British actors. I found it hilarious. The audience were getting really into it as well. We've had some cheering, some laughs, everyone cheering on the people that they know in the film. Uh, we're going to get a couple of notes from some other people in the audience. So we're going to come over here. So uh, tell me who you are, what you do, and how, what you thought of the film. Uh, my name is Natasha Atlas, and I'm a travel and entertainment blogger. Um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. Considering that I watched the trailer before I came here, I thought it was going to be an absolutely ridiculous film. But no, I actually found it really entertaining. And in that sort of environment with this sort of theatre, everyone really gets involved, and it's really actually absolutely hilarious to watch and um, there was a lot of great British actors in there like you just said but um, honestly they absolutely made it for me I thought it was absolutely hilarious it was a lot funnier than I thought it was going to be <laughs> <laughs> quite a surprise for such a low budget movie massively yes yeah. but um, Jason Fleming like we met him earlier and he honestly just brought that sort of comical that comic element to the movie yeah. and considering it's his first directing it's his first film directed it was brilliant. I thought it was really good. And the, one of the action scenes in it was yeah, a bit of hit and miss, but I thought it was great. I thought it was really well done. Yeah. yeah. Such a nice guy too. Oh my God, he's <laughs> so nice. He's, he's just such a lovely guy. And yeah. Um, yeah, and we met some of the other, like um, we met Annette today as well. And yeah. she's just so adorable. <laughs> she's so, so adorable. This is Mildred. <laughs> this is Mildred. <laughs> and uh, moving on, I'll just switch with you here. Tell me about yourself, what yeah, you thought. I'm guy from Spoiler Alert Reviews and um yeah unexpected i was um over overwhelmingly surprised actually it's very very funny i mean it's definitely more comedy than it is anything else yeah, yeah. but i think that's a good thing if you walk into it looking at it like that you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it it's it's, it's well scripted there's some yeah. good action in it uh, yeah i was quite surprised any standout performances um yeah yeah billy cook yeah definitely like the the, uh, the 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 rookie as it were yeah. or the, the young supposedly rookie he was brilliant yeah. very very good i personally like the uh the fight scene with chen in the barn yeah. anybody else that was quite good unexpected again everything was un I, I see i didn't watch the trailer 
So I, I didn't. I just went in this blind. I wanted to uh, just go in without any preconceived ideas. And yeah, I was like, wow, okay. If this is what it is, yeah, he's done a good job. Like yeah. a really, really good job for his directorial debut. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to do next. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely brought in some really good actors this time, like uh, Tony Curran and uh, Charlie Cox. Oh yeah, Charlie Cox and uh, oh Mackenzie Charlie Crook Cox. as well. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we really enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you guys get to see it soon as well. This is Elenia for Silver Screen LB24. So earlier I had a bit of an interview with Jason Fleming about the film, it's his directorial debut. So uh, here's a quick look at it for you as well. Right, I am here with the director of the new UK film Eat Locals, Jason Fleming. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. I just found out you're going to review the film live tonight, so I'm a little bit more nervous than I was when I started this conversation. I'll be, I'll be nice, I'll be nice, I good, swear. Good, good. So, uh, is this your first, first directing role? Yeah, first thing um, I've ever directed. Um, you know, I've done 130 movies and countless TV shows, and, and eventually you just get to a point where you're like, I think, I think I could do this. I think I could do this. Since then, I've been, I own my bread and butter money acting, and since then I've been more generous with uh, directors. I'm, I'm on Jamestown at, for Sky at the moment. And after I did this, I went back to um, Jamestown and was very much more generous with directors, knowing how hard it is, for definite. So how did you come across the story for Eat Locals? Um, me and Dexter Fletcher have been developing stuff for years and we found a writer called Danny King who uh, wrote Wild Bill mm -hmm. and a couple of other scripts that me, Dex and Danny have developed together. And this one, Eat Local, was in fact um, around before Wild Bill. We had it, we developed it together um, over 10 years ago. So it's taken us that long to find someone uh, trusting and loving enough to give us the money to make it. By that point, Dexter had moved on, you know, and he's gone beyond small genre budget specific movies is now doing big Hollywood films so it was left to me to hold the reins yeah. and carry it across the line which I'm very happy and proud to have done. Fantastic and you've uh, you've worked with quite a few of these actors already in things like Lockstock, them, yeah. uh, Solomon Kane. I see a lot of the women were in Little Dorrit as well yeah. um, so how was it working as the director instead of actually working among them as an actor? Um, everyone in it basically is a friend and in my phone and that was always my value to the producers that it was you know I was going to bring a cast a stellar cast for uh, a cheaper price um, <laughs> and that I succeeded in that um, but it was great you know I mean we're a very um, organic group of people so uh, you know Dexter who's in my film has directed me in films um, uh, Nick Moran's director films you know we've all we've all, we've all changed you know as you get older you, you your position changes and you are less content with being a soldier and want to be the general. And so this was my first shot at that. But everyone was really supportive, like Charlie Cox. You know, he just said, mate, I'll jump on a plane from New York, tell me when and where I've got to be. And that was it. Same with Tony Curran, he did the same. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, you've kind of stolen uh, Charlie Cox from Netflix at the moment, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> yeah, they, they said to him, uh, we're not happy with you. Um, we're not necessarily happy with you doing projects away from uh, the Marvel um, thing. And he was like, well, I'm going to do it, so that's the way it's going to be. And they were like, right, okay, you're not allowed to run faster than is humanly possible and you can't fly. And he was like, okay, I'll do that, that'll be fine. So Charlie made it happen, he really did. That's really lovely of him. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was. Um, and what are, you, what are you hoping the reception is going to be like for this film? Well, you know, we're, um, we're at this festival uh, and it's the perfect place for it. You know, um, Scream Fest and the horror fans uh, are not snobby about what they like and what they don't like. You know, they're not... They're not expecting Tarkovsky. They're not. They're, they're, they're expecting a British, um, you know, horror comedy, and that's what they're going to get. And I know that they'll be supportive, as because all the magazines and the blogs that uh, specialise in this genre yeah. have loved it, and they've been really supportive. And um, so I'm excited to show it to them. And uh, one last question, I think: um, if it were possible, would you ever be a vampire? <clears throat> they're kind of sexy, so I quite <laughs> like that. They live Good. forever, which I, at the moment with six-year-old twins, I could probably do with that as well. Yeah. So the eternal stuff I'd love because I had kids at 50 instead of 20. So I quite like to be there for when they uh, when they hit 50. I quite like to be around, and that ain't going to happen unless I'm a vampire. 
Well, that's a really nice sentiment. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Be generous and sweet, my first go. <laughs> I will, don't worry. I'll chat to you. Jason Fleming is such a nice guy. After the interview, we had a little chat between ourselves and he was really happy that everyone was here to see him. And, you know, he was really excited about his first directorial, telling me how great everyone was to work with. And he was just so nice. I just walked up to him and I said, can I have an interview? And he's like, yeah, honey, of course, of course. Uh, so next, we're going to go on to another interview. I got a little bit of time with Annette Crosby, who plays Alice. Roll the interview. Hey, I am here with Annette Crosby, who is playing Alice in the new Eat Locals film. How are you feeling about the film? Well, I loved it. I loved doing it. I had a great time. It's the best job I've ever had, really, because these days filming and television is so fast. There's not so much care taken. It's just all about speed, getting it done and getting the profit. Now this is quite different, this is like the old times, you know, when you had chat and you had took the care and, and Jason happened to be a terrific director, I know he's a good actor, but he was a very good director, when we had fun, it was lovely, I enjoyed every second of it, even the rain and the mud. <laughs> Um, so we know you from things like uh, One Foot in the Grave, Little Dorrit, Calendar Girls. My mum was very excited to see you handling an assault rifle. How was uh, this different to all of those ty types of uh, TV series? Well, of course, this is very small. And the, and the base and the location were the same place. So once you got in in the morning and you were in your caravan, in your costumes, it was only a short walk to the house where the location was. That's as far as I'm concerned. The poor, the poor men who had to play the army were out there lying flat on the, <laughs> at night time in the pouring rain and the cold. Well, I was fine, it was lovely. And the food was terrific. <laughs> but a student of, of Jamie Oliver. Yeah, come better than that, wonderful. Fantastic, so you've had a good time. Um, and you've, you've worked with quite a few of the other actors before, including Jason. How was it working with them again? I hadn't worked with many of them. Just Jason, I think. Yeah. No, it's lovely. It's always, it's always great. Because if you get the time, that's the thing. If there's, if there's a pause this time on this film, we chatted. Nowadays, if they, if they have a pause, for, usually for focus puller, out come the phones and nobody talks to anybody up there busy. Now that's not good. It doesn't create the same kind of, I don't know, you know, it's a, uh, it's a chemistry that, that is, um, it's altered. If you, if, you, if you cut yourself off, if you don't chat to each other, if you've got no communication and that kind of thing, it's not going to turn out as good a film. It just isn't. You know, it doesn't matter if you don't have a scene with that person opposite you. It will make a difference to the whole feel of the film. Because the next person to him will... Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a kind of suit mix. You've got to really get to know the other people. And you've got to feel... You can trust everybody and you're safe. And if you have to cry, or if you have to be angry, then nobody's going to think, oh, good grief. <laughs> yeah. um, so, outside of acting, I understand you are involved in some ar animal charities, quite a philanthropist? Well, it's, it's what, 2017 now, for the last 20 odd years. I have been in touch with Greyhound Rescue Charities because I got one 20, 25 years ago and slowly discovered how badly they're treated by the industry. If you breed thousands of dogs every single year, and I mean thousands, at the moment it stands roughly at 18,000, you are never going to rehome that number of dogs every single year, because they replace them every single year. Now that's a scandal, that's a human, that's animal scandal on an industrial scale and it's all done for the sake of the few people who want to gamble now there is so much to gamble on now if you took out greyhound racing it wouldn't be missed it really wouldn't 
gamblers don't care. You can tell me all you like about, oh, they like to see the dog smiling and waving their tail. That's rubbish. Rubbish. They don't need it. Bookmakers want to hang on to them, you see, because if anything happens, like foot and mouth, then horses can't run, but dogs can. They can run dogs in any weather and any condition. And it's a self-regulating gambling business. And that's a disgrace. I can see you're actually, you know, very, very passionate about this. I get passionate about everything. <laughs> Well, um, I think that's all we've got time for, but uh, good luck with your with the film. And it was lovely talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed those interviews as much as I enjoyed taking them. Uh, I've got Guy and Natasha back as well. Any last thoughts? Uh, yeah, go and see it. Go and see the film. If you get a chance to, definitely really, really good. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. It's it's it'll take you by surprise. Definitely, it's it's nothing like I've ever seen before. I've never seen something a vampire comedy before, and it's it blew me away to be honest. So yeah, yeah 100% definitely go see it. So uh, we'll be tagging these two in the video as well. So definitely check their blogs out, and uh, remember to like, subscribe, share Silver Screen Show LB24 TV. Thanks for joining. Woo. <laughs>